So it's Pride Month, and that means that the queers are very uh, celebratory currently, myself included. Um, lots of straights are celebrating as well, which is awesome. Lots of cishets are joining us in the festivities. Uh, but it's also the time when conservatives freak out. Now, there's this lady named Miss Rachel, and apparently she's made comments, you know, in support of the people of Gaza. She also made a Pride Month post, and conservatives now want to cancel her. But the conservatives in particular that are focusing on her are the Daily Wire conservatives, and they very clearly have an agenda. They want people to stop letting their kids watch Miss Rachel so that way they sign up for the Daily Wire's show with shitty kids, uh, kids cartoons. Here's the thing, though. You can't cancel Miss Rachel. Somebody who babysits your toddlers for you, you're not just going to take that away from your toddlers, right? She could say what she wants. Uh, and thankfully, she's saying good stuff. But er Ari Drennan here has a thread of conservatives screeching about her post. It wouldn't be Pride Month without angry anti-gay influencers yammering about boycotts, and this year is no different with an attempt by libs of TikTok and the Daily Wire chuds to cancel popular children's educator and YouTuber Miss Rachel. Yeah, you know, it really is part of Pride at this point, the meltdowns by right-wingers. It's just, it's part of it. It's part of tradition, and if they weren't outraged by Pride, it wouldn't feel like Pride, right? Um, okay, so... With 10 million subscribers on YouTube, Miss Rachel Accurso bills herself as a passionate educator who creates research-based videos. She also has nearly 5 million followers on TikTok, where she posted this 25-second clip on June 1st. For no worries. Happy Pride to all of our wonderful families and friends. This month and every month, I celebrate you. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're exactly who you are. To those who are going to comment they can't watch the show anymore because of the support, no worries and much love your way. God bless. I am not chasing fame or views. I'm standing strong in love. She's just the most wholesome, sweetest person ever. And what's not to love about that? I would absolutely feel comfortable with my children watching Miss Rachel. Now I have a four-year-old. You know, she's a dog, but she's not really interested in cartoons. Um, so I don't have any experience with Miss Rachel. But, you know, if I did have a kid, I would let Miss Rachel, uh, you know, entertain them. Uh, but that small little post where she's like, hey, I'm so happy that you are who you are. It led to meltdowns because why wouldn't it? So we've got uh, Matt Walsh, who shared the video to X, formerly Twitter, calling it a message to conservative parents. Walsh also covered the video at length on his June 3rd show. I mean, this is how you know nothing's happening right now that they, you know, really care about. It's like, okay, what are we going to talk about? There's nothing going on. Um, I guess we'll just talk about Miss Rachel and do a whole show about how she said for like five seconds that I'm glad that queer people are are here and they're not you know harming themselves thank you uh, she didn't tell them to go fuck themselves she she was nice to them and that's that's a huge scandal she she's very loving she says uh, miss miss rachel's approach is is the loving one if you don't want your kids watching dylan mulvaney and if you don't take your kids to family friendly pride events then uh you're a hateful person okay that's not what she said first of all second of all Dylan Mulvaney is not making children's content. Like, she's making content for young people, but not toddlers, right? So I don't think that the demographic of Miss Rachel and Dylan Mulvaney has much crossover. But he's, look, he's reading way too much into this, okay? I'm disappointed in you, Matt. Not that I uh, expected any different, but, you know, listen, I, I've come to the conclusion that Matt Walsh is my Waluigi, He's the evil version of me. Or maybe he's my Wario. I think Wario would be more accurate. He's either my Wario or my Waluigi. Um, and that makes me feel uncomfortable. You know, the problem is with you. You're a bigot, etc. Of course, the real point here isn't to be loving. As Jules has said, the point is to, quote, encourage and nurture a sense of curiosity in kids and to teach them that there are infinite, quote unquote, ways to exist in the world and, quote, one isn't better than another. The point, in other words, is to indoctrinate more kids with lies and falsehoods. And this is a falsehood, of course. She's, she's Okay, she makes content for two-year-olds, literally. Do you think that the two-year-old is going to be like, I'm gay now, after watching Miss Rachel, you dumb motherfucker? Like, what? 
how do you think you can indoctrinate a two-year-old? She's talking th- to them about colors and animals or some shit. She's not like, hey, young man, do you know you could be gay? Have you tried homosexuality? I mean, what are we talking about here? What a fucking idiot. <laughs> Okay, the next one we have a fascist. Uh, what's his name? I forgot his name. I'm blanking. Uh, Michael Knowles. So other right wing media figures piled on with libs of TikTok accusing Miss Rachel of subscribing to child to the child mutilation cult. Of course, Jack Posobiec pointing out she'd invited Dylan Mulvaney onto her show, and Michael Knowles suggested uh, suggesting, excuse me, her use of the title Miss was a red flag itself. Why is that a red flag? Totally expect- because that like that implies that she is a miss and not a missus. Therefore, she's a single woman. So it's bad that she's making content for kids. I mean, they are really grasping here. I had never heard of Ms. Rachel before yesterday. I guess it was two days ago when this pride controversy happened. And I asked Alisa, who pays more attention to children's programming, obviously spending much more time with our kids during the day. Uh, and I said, have you heard of this Ms. Rachel? She goes, oh, yeah, she's really, really annoying. Possibly the most annoying YouTuber for children's content. I mean, she is literally entertaining toddlers. How exactly do you think she's supposed to talk? Like, I, I'm curious to pull up one of her videos because, like, I want to know what we're dealing with here. I've never seen a Miss Rachel video. I know about Miss Rachel. But, like, what are we talking about here? Because, again... This is for literally the youngest demographic here. So let me find one. Miss Rachel, I'm searching right now. Okay, let's see if there's any gay stuff on here that she's pushing on the kids. Okay. So this is her channel right here. So I'm searching for homosexuality or an indoctrination. We have hop little bunnies. Hop, hop, hop. Okay. Doesn't sound super gay. Uh, learn with Miss Rachel, phonic song, learn to read. Doesn't necessarily sound gay. God damn, 88 million views. I'm just seeing this 80 million views. Maybe I'm in the wrong uh, section on YouTube. Fuck me. Miss Rachel visits doctor for a checkup. Now, see, this could be woke if she talks about free healthcare. So that one's up in the air. Uh, Blippy and Miss Rachel fire truck song. And wheels on the bus. Okay, this one I can see why they'd have a problem because Blippy is the guy that did the Harlem Shake video and he like diarrheaed, diarrheaed into his friend's mouth. This was before he was Blippy, um, which is crazy to me. So she's collaborating with him. Um, this kind of looks like a rainbow, but you know, it's not clear enough. Baby's first words. So, you know, not much here that you should be worried about. I mean, here's a little rainbow colors, learn colors. But let's just, let's watch one of these videos, okay? I'm not seeing anything explicitly gay. Baby songs, literally. Okay, let's watch it. See the bunny sleeping till it's near the noon. Wait, I don't want to get copyright claimed. I don't know. If, let, let me find one without songs. Let's, let's see the uh, Learn With Miss Rachel one. Hi, friends. I mean, this is what I expected. <laughs> it's, for, it's it's literally for babies, doctor. Hi, friends. Today, I'm visiting the doctor for a checkup. Have you ever been to the doctor? Oh, wow. I'm at Manhattan Valley Pediatrics. When you go to the doctor, your grown-up will be there with you the whole time. Let me just check the comments. Oh, they're turned off. Okay, I feel like that's for the best. Listen. This is just wholesome kids content. There's no reason to be upset with her. Um, but of course, conservatives have to, um, they have to hit on everything. I mean, she's basically babysitting your kids for free and you're shitting on her. Shameful. And I said, okay, well, uh, and, and that, that was totally expected from my perspective because just the name, Ms. Rachel, huge red flag. Miss Rachel, no red flag. Mrs. Rachel, definitely no red flag. Ms. Not good. Ms. is a contrived uh, title that that comes from the feminists. Ms. Magazine was the big feminist magazine in the 1970s. He's reaching. Uh, previously, a younger unmarried woman would be called Miss, and then married woman would be called Mrs. So 
she's got two words for the title of her act, and one of them is a clear expression of feminism. I knew this was going to be bad, and it was. Okay. Very melodramatic here. He's trying to find some reason to be outraged. Brother, I think you're just reading way too much into this. Okay, next we have Ben Shapiro. Daily Wire's Ben Shapiro also played the comments on his show, tying them with a similar pride post by a children's se show, Sesame Street. Uh-oh. It is imperative that our children's television promote homosexual activities, lifestyles, transgenderism, and gender fluidity. It is very, very important, which is what Sesame Street did. I mean, she posted that on TikTok. I just looked I at her channel. I never heard of Ms. Rachel Why before. Is it? No, 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 no. She, okay. But I mean, like, you saw her show. She's not talking about anything political at all, right? But on her personal TikTok, she's like, hey, gay people are cool. Trans people are cool. And he's like, how fucking dare you? <laughs> I can't even get too mad because this is just stupid. I Like, we talked about this before, but, like, conservatives are really really anxious to bring back the woke hysteria because I think that just when it comes to views and clicks, that was doing numbers for them. But that's kind of over. We're all bored with that. Um, nobody really cares anymore. So they're trying to create a controversy. They want to bring back the Dylan Mulvaney hysteria, but maybe choose a new target. And it's just not landing. Did over the weekend, Sesame Street tweeted out the rainbow flag, but using like the furry the furry tales of its various Sesame Street characters. Happy Pride Month from Sesame Street. Today and every day, we celebrate and uplift the LGBTQIA plus minus divided by sign members of our community. Together, let's build plus minus divided by sign. Damn, he just owned all the alphabet people. Fuck. We're never going to recover from this. And by the way, this is the material that they use to make the puppets, Ben. That's all that this is. The world where every person and family feels loved and welcome for who they are. How dare they? This message is outrageous. Together, let's build a world where every person and family feels loved and welcomed for who they are. Imagine getting outraged at that message. This just shows you that conservatives are bad people because if you disagree with this message, you're just a bad person. You want people to not be loved and you don't want them to feel loved and welcomed, then fuck you. You're a bad person. <laughs> oh, okay, let's, let's hear more. Worth noting here that Sesame Street is a television show directed at two-year-olds. Don't worry, folks. They're not coming for your kids. They're just totally coming for your kids on the radical left. Meanwhile, Miss Rachel, who's, I am told, a very popular YouTube personality for the Childers. She, uh, she was Childers. also celebrating Pride Month, Miss Rachel. So, uh, yeah, perhaps you should not leave her alone with your littles because, again, perhaps you wish to teach your kids actual traditional mores. It is imperative. Dummy, she's not teaching them values like traditional values or politics or shit like that. I mean, can you imagine a liberal freaking out if they found out like Barney was a Catholic or something and he made some post about Catholicism? Would, can you imagine a liberal saying, oh, my God, or an atheist saying they're trying to indoctrinate my kids with, with Catholicism because Barney goes to church on every Sunday? Like, it doesn't matter what the fuck they do on their own time or what they say in their personal lives. I mean, Blippi literally diarrheaed in his friend's mouth before he became Blippi. Like, if anyone should be a target, it's him. But they go after Miss Rachel, the sweetest person ever. To be fair, I don't know Miss, uh, Mr. Blippi or whatever the fuck his name is, so I can't really say that. Oh, Veggie Tales! Yeah, Veggie Tales. Thank you for bringing that up, Biden Trudeau 2024. Cursed name, but hilarious. Yeah, Veggie Tales, literally an explicitly religious message. But no, that's fine. That's fine. Indoctrination is fine if we're doing it. But like to say that Sesame Street or Miss Rachel are indoctrinating is so bizarre because, again, they just made individual posts on their own account and they're like shitting themselves. So fucking unserious. And I love how he has a sticker saying facts don't care about your feelings. That's ironic coming from you. Okay, so this is from Jeremy Boring. Uh, in a lengthy post claiming Miss Rachel wants to brainwash your kids into radical ideology, Daily Wire co-founder Jeremy Boring made the logic behind the focus on a curse so transparent by promoting Bent Key, the Daily Wire's children's television offering. And that's what this is all about. Don't let your kids watch Miss Rachel. Subscribe to the Daily Wire. Do you want to know why they're subscribed to Miss Rachel and they're not letting their kids watch the Daily Wire? Because kids don't want your dumb bullshit, okay? But what Miss Rachel is doing is very clearly, it's the kids like it, okay? But he says, 
We know millions of parents feel betrayed by beloved... <laughs> Who feels betrayed by... Shut the fuck up. Children's shows and stars like Miss Rachel. God, they're really trying to make this into a thing. They want this to be the new Dylan Mulvaney controversy. And this is sure to be the on only the first of many disappointments for parents over the next 30 days. But that's why we created Bent Key. If you are feeling the loss of finding out Miss Rachel wants to brainwash your kids into radical Shut the fuck up. Into radical ideology, I urge you to sign up for a free trial at bentkey.com. We have hundreds of episodes, dozens of shows, and zero indoctrination. Oh, zero indoctrination for the Daily Wire. Mmm. Let's see about that. Our Ben Key subscribers are making it possible to continue building a true alternative in children's entertainment that kids will love and parents can trust. Okay, so this is Bent Key. At the network's launch in 2023, Bent Key largely featured redubbed European and Asian children's cartoons, though it does feature Matt Walsh's voice. Hang on a second. You can just straight up take another cartoon and redub it and make it your own thing and sell that as a subscription? Excuse me? That's what they're doing? Jesus. I shall defeat Captain Brontor, for he is weak. And I am less weak. Punch, punch. Yeah. What? Oh no! Uh, man, Matt Walsh killing it as a voice actor. I shall defeat Captain Brontor, for he is weak, and I am less weak. Punch, punch. Yeah. Good shit, man. A curso stood by her comments, writing, I am a Christian, and in the Bible it says, The greatest commandments are to love God and your neighbor. I love all of my neighbors, and that ex excludes no one. Oh, she just dropped the ultimate Uno reverse card. She dropped the ultimate Uno reverse card. She's like, motherfucker, guess what? I'm actually a Christian, and I'm the real Christian. This woman is a genius. This woman is an actual genius. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, F around and find out. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, gay pride. Trans rights are human rights. It is necessary to push trans on the kids. Gay, 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 gay